Misery, most wanted, most wanted in the dark uniforms. Misery in the light uniforms. He's going to get ball first in this one. And so he's going to pick his play. He's in the Rams offensive playbook. And what they utilize in this one is a lot of bunch formations with three receivers to the right. And then they use a lot of snugs with uh, two and two in tight. So he's got Jerry Rice coming across the formation. He's going to hand off to Marshawn Lynch beast mode and see if he can break the tackle up the middle. But that's, no dice. That's the best way to do it. Get penetration, make him go lateral. Can't use that power when you're running sideways. Tough running lanes there. Nothing open for Misery early, but plenty of time. You see Cameron in the slot right. Cunningham trying to roll out away from pressure. Throws the ball away. Sometimes that's the smartest thing you could do. You know, there's nothing wrong with a punt. You know, that's the way they used to teach it back in the day. Early on, don't get field pressure. you got to make a play. Stay within yourself. Don't get outside the boundaries of what you can do. Cunningham, the quarterback here. One of the most athletic players in ultimate team, the Eagles legend. He's got Jerry Rice out there. We'll see if he looks to find him on this third and 13. Dropping back, searching for a route. Nothing open, nothing open. Loads of time. Dead Zooks. Dot across the middle to Julio Jones. So we call it a dot because he's so open that he just looks like a dot out there all by himself on the field. Don't you feel the urge to say down by the schoolyard every time you say Julio? Yes, absolutely. Little Paul Simon reference. Great jam. Arshon, no yards, tough sledding early in the ground game. I mean, on that third down, maybe a miscalculation. Do you feel like not sending any pressure? Like letting him have all day in the pocket? You can only go with your aggressive personality. Whatever you got, you go with. I like it. I like it. Most Wanted's mixed it up all day long. He's sent some heat. Misery, definitely the more confident blitzer in this matchup. But Cunningham rolling out, trying to find a route. Is he going to throw underneath to Rice? He is. And see, so he got the ring underneath. So he was covering the slant, but then there was a route behind it. So he had to cover both. And he wanted to take away the deep route first so that you don't give up the huge play. And instead, the short route, you give it up. Well, the nice thing is you're able to flood the zone and give yourself a couple options. And by rolling out, you give yourself more time. And you're only looking at a third of the field. Excellent here. Big time pressure for most wanted. And he is shutting down the ground game early. This guy's got a little John, John Bon Jovi going on him. huh? Yes. Rock star. He's got the... He's got the wanted. There yeah. you go. Yep, dead or alive, gun tight, offset tight end. He's gonna switch it up. So this is one of the first times he's gonna go to this formation today. Let's see if he can find a flat pass to Rice. It takes a big hit. That's the Mel Blunt you talked about earlier. Oh, let me tell you something. That is a slobber knocker of a hit. You love to see that kind of action. When Mel Blunt comes up to hit somebody, he plants them. You let him throw short, and then you make the hits add up as the game goes on. That's how this works. Third and five. Let's see if he tries to get vertical here with his passing concept. 31 yard line. Time again on third down. All time he's got Y. Is he gonna throw it? No, he's gonna take the yards and do the, th the smart thing, which is slide. You know what? Somebody taught Randall Cunningham how to slide real well. <laughs> Yes. There's a lot of guys that do not hook slide very well. No, it's tough. Remember a couple years ago you had Sanchez. There was a whole controversy of like, does he know how to slide? Let's get him a sliding coach. Let's there get the go. Mets in to teach him how to slide. And you think it's a natural thing, but, you know, it's tough when you're out there running for your life to remember to take those steps and slide. Especially if you got to wear a knee brace. Sometimes that, that plants them right in the ground. Yep. They, they, they forget. They bend the leg up, and then they get that big old brace just digs up ground. See, Brady wears those big old right. braces on the legs. It's like Forrest Gump. But plays a lot better. Not <laughs> yes. quite as fast, you know. There you go. And a sack comes in. Olivier Vernon, who had a big year in his first one with the Giants, takes him down, down at the 34. Now he's a third and 20 situation, not where you want to be. No, it's more of a coverage sack, though. Olivier Vernon, very fast guy, but got there a little bit in extended time, let's say, for coverage. Let's see if he decides to send it here or if he drops back and plays all coverage like he has done on third down so far. No, he's going to send it from the right. L. Blunt misses the tackle, but holds him up enough for the uh, teammates to come in. Well, the nice thing is you get a big enough piece of him, makes it have to pause a moment before you get the posse coming out and cover him. Get defenders to the ball. So Madden, too, you can, if you have a couple tacklers in the area, you hit the RB button on Xbox and they go in for a strip tackle. So, uh -huh, you, so you can uh, 
they, they're, they have, then they have a higher chance to break to tackle. But if you've got more defenders in the area, it's not a big deal if you hold them up and try and strip it. Okay. So you can go for the rip, or you can go for a big uh, a hit stick where you where you flick the stick and you time it. That can force a fumble, but it's much riskier because if you miss, you whiff, uh, or your defender doesn't have good hit power, they're likely to break the tackle. So there's a lot of like factors that go in to knowing what tackle type to go for as the game goes on. He went uh, tried to strip that one there. So Rodgers hands off to Coleman. These guys construct these rosters. They're always tweaking, always tinkering. Just like a GM, they have a real salary cap to deal with. So they can't just have all Randy Mosses loaded up on their right. roster. You know, they've got to sacrifice. A lot of them do it on the line of scrimmage, which I don't know if I like it because some of these blitzes that they send would be helpful. As a former offensive lineman, we're always the ones getting the short end of the stick. Right? <laughs> B, he's got him. Let's go. He throws the X instead. Fitz can't hang on to that one. He's a local Pitt, uh, went to Pittsburgh. He has had one of the best careers coming out of college in a long time. No question about it. One of the greatest pair of hands you're ever going to see down in an NFL uniform. That would be Larry Fitz. Nice hairdo, too. Had that tremendous run uh, with the Cardinals in their Super Bowl season, but ultimately lost to the Steelers in that game. He broke that touchdown. I think he thought he was winning a Super Bowl with that play, but San Antonio Holmes had a different idea. Should have heard James Harrison talk about that play. Not happy? Not happy at all. Ooh, Ed McCaffrey there you go. wide open. A good play, and Rodgers gets his first completion, a 34-yard game. You get a nice zone, and you get that little pocket window in the zone, and you got Ed McCaffrey, long, tall, a cool drink of water type of wide receiver. Good hands. You see him pinching that line down. So he's got the two edge blitzers that are trying to come in, but the halfback stays in, but he forces the quick throw, and, and luckily that ball drops with nothing on it. But he wanted a pick. A lot of pressure coming off the, the, the right side of the offensive line. Get the ball out. Try to find that hot receiver. How do you adjust your hot rocks when you're reading the defense. Yeah, so right at the line of scrimmage, you can press the Y button and actually change what route the players are on. So I'll show you here, that's a pick. Ooh, that's a very fortunate not a pick, but in the bottom right on the previous play, you see where it says hot routes, yes. three? So he comes out in that play, but he makes three different hot routes at the line of scrimmage. So he can put a guy on like an in, a slant, a little hitch, a smoke screen all depending on what he sees at the line. So if he thinks the pressure's coming in, he'll put him on a slant, motion him out, and then he'll get him delayed across the middle. He could put him on a streak in the seam if he thinks it's gonna be covered too. Uh, you have a, a, a bunch of different options, about eight different routes you can call when you get to the line of scrimmage. Now does wind figure into the kicks? Absolutely, so special teams was completely overhauled this season, so you've got uh, so we had Steve Tasker up in Buffalo. The Bills Buddy guys, of mine. Yep. Great guy, and he's a special teamer. And I was telling him, so you have the strong side with the six, and then you have the weak side with the four. So you have all fakes that take into account whether or not they're trying to block or play a conservative style. So if you want to pass, you want to roll to the side with the six. If you want to run, you want to run to the weak side with the four. The team at uh. in Orlando did a great job really modeling it after uh, what you see on Sunday's plays like, you know, uh, the Seahawks and the Packers, like two years ago, they ran a fake to get them back in the game. Remember the Packers were about to win that game and the Seahawks right. came back out of nowhere and they did it with like a John Ryan pass over the top. They, they've they got all those style of plays in this game. Beautiful. Well, that, that was a nice run right there. You know, the beautiful thing is when nobody sets the edge, somebody can take advantage of them. You're hot with the control. Yes. Different gaps, find those lanes, cut it open. He's only rushing two, but he gets a spin move from Vernon, and the ball gets out of the pocket. He's not sending much, but he's still getting in because of that lack of investment in the offensive line. You know, there's no question that there's a little bit of pressure there that you see happening. That throw looked, it didn't look comfortable. Looked like he get, had a little, little snap action to it that he didn't want there. So here he's going to go to play action, and you get a little bit different blocking on the offensive line if you go to PA. Uh, so... Even though he canceled the fake to the halfback and he put him on a, a delayed route, so check and release. So halfback saying, where's my guy? Okay, blitz isn't coming, I can release out of the backfield. So that's why his route is blue in that situation. Oh, okay. Well then, you know, you get the uh, little shoulder on the upfield hot rusher too. Yep. You, what we call chipping. Little chip block on the edge. And there you see the defender scream over uh, the lower rated lineman but couldn't get in the backfield. Lynch? Averaging minus one yard per carry. 
Well, the defense is doing a great job of keeping them bottled up. And you get, as I said, penetration. You make the power go lateral. It doesn't work. Misery on offense. Most wanted on defense. 3-3 game here in the Steelers Championship Finals. Rolling out Cunningham, and he was willing to take a hit, and he fumbles the ball, and Ost wanted, as you can tell by his reaction, jumped on it. You know, you look at Cunningham running with that ball, carrying it like a cheesesteak hoagie. Both of bread, bro. I don't understand it. You gotta protect the football. And just like an onion, if you don't take care of the football, it will make you cry. So he's on offense, most wanted in his opponent's territory. Pressure gets in and he throws it away just in time. My goodness, the pressure got there and it's a good throw away because that would be a big sackaroo. Do you ever think you see Aaron Rodgers just one for six to start a game? Not often. Packers signing Martellus Bennett over the weekend. A big addition to their lineup to replace Jared Cook, who had a crucial catch in the playoffs. See here, Rodgers picks up the pressure, goes underneath to Kelsey, who's going to be a yard shy. That's one thing you notice about Travis Kelsey. He's one of those guys that falls forward all the time. Not one of those guys that you're going to drive back or stand up too often. He is going to put that shoulder down, fall forward. Absolutely, and what's very interesting about that is pressure, and he grabs it. He's in the flat, and can he fake out the defender? No, but... When these guys put together their rosters, right? So there's players have ratings. So you have their right. speed, their catch, their this. They have also have traits. So they have traits like falls forward, fights for extra yards, like races for hits, uh, clutch. So clutch trait, you know, will give you increase your. Uh, if you're trailing in the fourth quarter and there's less than two minutes left, you'll get a little ratings increase. So there's all these little traits that make certain players better than others, even though the ratings on paper might say that they're the same. So that's why they spend so much time with these lineups with the salary cap. Like, okay, Kelsey and Gronk, they're, they're technically the same ratings right. in this game, technically, just as a factor. But if Kelsey plays a little bit better or has a different trait or for whatever reason his cap's a little lower, they'll invest in that position to try and save in other spots. That's why you see a lot of Larry Fitzgeralds and Jerry Rice's because of how good they are for the cost. Okay. And he goes underneath to Rice. He takes a oh, hit. Who else would that be? That Mel was a Blunt. thunderous Mel Blunt hit. Yes. Mel is ferocious in this game. He got a Super Bowl. So, and then there's different additions. So Mel had an original legend that came out. It was about a 93 overall. And then during the Super Bowl, they added some new players to the game. He got a newer version of himself, much faster, even more hip power. And that's the one that you're seeing a lot of these players use today as Coleman. Fights in for the score. Most wanted cashes in on the turnover. That's just a nice straight dive. Lowest pads win down there at the goal line. Pad level so you can lean forward with the right stick. And that will actually cause you to lean forward, truck a little bit, and you kind of drive in towards the end zone. You know, that you hook the head, you know, because you turn the head, the body follows. That's just a little the way we used to do it back in the day. Back in the day. 10-3 for most wanted. Misery takes back over on offense after a fumble with Randall Cunningham trying to scramble on his last drive. Not much pressure from most wanted, so we'll see if Misery can get this Rams playbook attack working in the championship game. Misery defeating Snaponic by six. Most wanted beat Boogs by two. Making some adjustments, flips over to the other side, got bunched to the right. Let's see if he picks it up. Just rushing two, good blocking. Blast through the coverage. Back foot to Julio and hangs on. Surprising. You didn't think somebody pop open that late right down the middle. So yeah. Sometimes after receivers will finish their routes, they'll go into what's called get open, and they'll, they'll try and find a way to get open, but it's not super reliable, so you feel nervous kind of relying on it. Right. Uh, as a read, you want to kind of get the ball out on time, but with him dropping all those guys in coverage, the, the quick looks haven't quite been there for him. Let's go. Minute 25 on the clock, two timeouts for Misery, which is a long time in Madden, and he simply throws that away. Not a bad job. Now, how do you go about a site adjustment route? Can, are you able to do that, emulate that on the screen? With 
when you're rolling out like Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. rolling out, and you, you, usually the one guy will go short, one guy will go long, and they roll out towards the sidelines. Yep, so you've got uh, what's called a playmaker, and you can hold down the left trigger, and then you flick the right stick. So let's see if he does it on this play. He didn't do it there because he's got Fitz. Oh, my goodness. He rolled out of bounds. One-handed Larry Fitz, uh, but couldn't hang on. So if you're rolling out, you use the left trigger, and then you flick the right stick in a direction. You'll, uh, one of your players will kind of roll with you. That's insane. And they'll, uh, it takes a lot of work because you're rolling out, you're trying yes. to look for other routes, you gotta figure out which guy you're gonna get control of on the playmaker, and then you gotta connect with them. And so, and that's another example of those traits I was talking about. Some guys have better connection. So, right. some guys, if you if you push up, they're not as highly rated, they, they run at an angle. Where other players, you get it quicker, a little more precise. And that's one of the things they added to the game. Is it a connection or is it a conniption? Yeah. I don't know. It causes a conniption for the defense. That, they think they have yeah. everything covered, and then the playmaker uh, causes them. This is fourth and ten. He's going for it. This is a Madden guy move in this situation. Let's see if he had to roll out. Got Julio down by the sidelines. Yes, down by the sidelines indeed. What a great job reversing body, get thrown across his body. I mean, that was really something. That's where you spend the extra on Randall, and he delivers. He's got a uh, throw on the run rating, which, oh, factored in in a big hit. That's Anthony Barr, uh, who is a big performer in this Madden game because of his speed, his size, and his hit power. That whole combination makes him uh, a lot of a, a fan favorite for well, the players. That's what we call a downhill banger there. Rice. 27 seconds, he throws to Julio, and he gets out of bounds. Takes a little extra uh, before. How about those Julio catches in the Super Bowl on the sideline? He had those two catches where he toe-tapped. Those were absolutely like maddening. Like ballet out there. That, that, that should have been, been the one that sealed the game. Yep, actually. the one where, yep, yep. Arshon, he's going to carry. He's got two timeouts, so he's okay. Uh, in Madden here and in the NFL, the, the field gets so condensed in the red zone that it's just not a lot to do, so they like to try and run it, get a little bit closer, and then see if they can target one of their taller players. Maybe Cameron on a corner out here. Oh, the LU. Only Fade where route. they can catch it. Let's see. Ooh. Gets rid of it. You know, that is nice strategy by the defense. You try to make Cunningham keep having to spin off and run to his weak side, not able to throw the ball well across his body. That's where you want to keep flushing him. I love that he is picking up on this. This is fantastic. Rico, be careful out there, man. This guy knows his stuff. He is, that's awesome, yes. I just learned to hold well. Sending that pressure, man. Making him roll. Let's see. Vernon, high point. Fitz hangs on over Paul Kraus. That's why you get yourself a Larry Fitzgerald. Put it only where he can catch it, and you tie the game 10-10 with 10 seconds left. Illuminati confirmed. Good drive, good answer drive after that turnover. He goes 76 yards. Nice job, that's a well-run offense. And he converted on fourth and 10. So we, we talked with a couple NFL coaches uh, that come into the studio to help uh, provide some feedback on the game. And what they say is if an NFL game had as few possessions as a game of Madden and the quarters were condensed like they are, possessions would be so much more valuable and they'd be way less likely to punt it. So you see a lot, a lot of guys not uh, go for, choose to go for it on fourth down. So the time element makes it makes it entirely different strategy. Yep, because the possession is just so valuable for these guys, and I think the reason they go for it is because they think they can get it, oh, right? This. Yeah, I, I've never met a coach that didn't yeah. think you could get it if he had. To. Yeah. So you know, you saw Del Rio go for two, and in, in, uh, for the Raiders, they won a game on it. I know Tom will go for two every now and then. Oh, he went for two more than anybody. Two years ago, not this past year, but that two years ago, he, I think he set a record. If you think you can get it or you got to play or, or whatever you have, you try and go for it. Here you see most wanted. You got to figure at 10-10, you're feeling pretty good in this one. Both players have really done a good job uh, battling early in this one. Who do you think has the edge at the half? Is it most wanted who's not really blitzing or is it uh, misery who's sending the pressure? Well, I, I got to like misery. I mean, you know, the thing about it is he's got to make sure that Cunningham puts that ball away and doesn't carry it, like I said, like a cheesesteak hoagie, of which, of course, misery's from up and around Philadelphia. But the fact is, you want to send and be what you are. If you are aggressive, you stay aggressive. And I think you keep the pedal to the metal, and that's where you go. 
Now, adjustments in football are super important to winning this game. Did you see any adjustments that you think these guys can make in the second half? You mentioned uh, how he's rolling out to his weak side. Is there anything that you expect to see these guys adapt to? I just wonder at what point do you start to um, start to roll the other way when you see see pressure. Yep. Adjust your hot routes. Make sure that you got your check down man on, on, on lined up. But again. Get a little running game going so your play action go. And I'd like to see some more screens. Marsh, a little screen pass. A couple screen pass here and there. We'll take a look at how these guys got to this point with some highlights. Marshawn Lynch not doing much early in this one, but uh, both players trying to find a way to pick up some pressure. There you see Cunningham rolling out to the flat. Lynch breaking a tackle. Led to three points on fourth and 15. Misery struck uh, first. But it was the man who answered back most wanted, couldn't do a ton, and made it 3-3 himself on a long field goal. That's why you invest in those kickers in salary cap. You can't afford it. This was the play you're talking about, holding it like a loaf, and he drops the rock. This led to a touchdown for most wanted. Drove it in with Tevin Coleman, a gold-level halfback, but he's playing like an elite today. And then just before the half, Fitzgerald goes up over the defense, makes it 10-10 going into the third quarter here in the PNC Champions Club. I got my man with me. He's breaking it down. Let's get back to the second half. What do you say? I'm looking forward to it. That's for sure. All right. Let's let these guys jump in. There you see him. Misery. He's looking on. He's 38th in the club series standings. He's trying to find a way to squeak into that $500,000 prize pool. And this man right here, most wanted, I mean, even if he, if he makes a run. So on April 15th, you're gonna have eight competitors go to LA. The Steelers will send one representative. The Vikings will send a representative. The Niners will send a representative. So all the teams that participated in this club series will send those guys out there. The top two get an automatic bid to the $500,000 pool. So when you see the emotion, you know, whoever strikes first here, they know what's on the line. They know what's at stake. They had to play online to get here. They didn't just sign up and get called in to, to you know, get an opportunity. They had to play online, fight, go through a bunch of other talented competitors, travel here, some guys further than others, but they're trying to make the most of this opportunity, and they've done it so far. It's 10-10. Most wanted can't find anybody. Boy, you look like you had a nice throwing lane right down the middle, too. Plenty of time. And remember, think about it. You know, my uh, I had an offensive line coach used to say the train only comes around so often. You got to be ready to get on board when you have that opportunity. Yes, yes. This is what they've been waiting for. One million dollars has been at stake during the Madden Championship series for Madden 17. But it's starting to wind down. We're well into our third major reminder. Stay tuned. The channel you're watching right now will be live with more action from the Madden challenge the online group stage is going on today so there's other players that are grinding in this thing but all eyes are on this final match in this fourth and nine situation for most wanted who's playing right now needs to find a way he's gone to this play quite a few times against uh, his boogs his opponent in the semis five seconds on the play clock needs to pick up some potential pressure Three-man rush, got time. Users in the middle of the field, nothing's Plenty open. X is getting open, and he strikes wow. Fitzgerald, who outruns the defense. He tried to go for the strip, but he was outran on the play. What patience. What a great job of fading in the pocket as you're drawing the defense, and he's got the wall take, picking everything up to the right side, and you wait for Fitz to make that big play over the middle. Wait until that opening rise. Got time, there you see the play action fooled nobody and Misery wanted more on that. He called a cover zero blitz against that and it was the right answer. <laughs> yeah, that's like the kitchen sink. Yeah, a little aggressive. Maybe in the tie game, we'll see what he knows. This is a play action again, let's see. He adjusts, he does, he sends the halfback on a delay and he throws the corner and Barr gets underneath and he chirped him right there across a little uh, sparring match. Waited just on. a little too long and bam. So that's why people love the height because he got underneath the route. Even though he was six yards right. underneath the corner route, uh, which is very difficult for certain zones to defend. The defender underneath could reach up, get that big catch animation, and at 6'5", you know, when he's jumping, he can big, cover so yeah. much ground. Critical. 
looks amazing because it closed the window that you think you see. Correct. Absolutely. Correct. Looked open, took it away, and now Misery takes over on offense, and he's looking for something, but he can't find anything. He keeps wanting to roll to the weak side. Got to under that pressure, but then when you don't have anybody coming from the opposite side crossing the field, now you've got, you don't have anything happening, really. Everybody's going up the other side. He's going to be living by the nickname if he can't convert a turnover into points. It will be misery for misery. Underneath's wide open, and he doesn't take it. He needed 12, but I mean, you can get some there and then make it a more manageable fourth, especially if you're going to go for it. Exactly. If you're thinking you're in four-down territory, you're, you use your check down. You got to use your check down. You got to put yourself in a position that the big one is not a big problem. It's tough to get 12 yards in these situations. You see that red line. He's got to get to it. Will he go back to Fitz, who's been helping him out all day? Cunningham looking. He's rolling. Pressure's not there. Can't scramble. B coming across the middle. There we Tremendous go. Tremendous. There you go. Touch pass. That's what you wanted to see. Wait, wait, wait. And he waited just enough. Did you get clearance? Now you're able to break down the zones. Zone was in the middle, but he threw it with a great pass lead right up the field. Little touch pass. And now Lynch finds the edge, finally picks up some yards, but a fumble, and he picks it up and scoops. And Misery is tiptoeing down the sideline, breaking tackles and most wanted. Sometimes Madden's easy, sometimes Madden's hard. What luck for oh, Marshawn. That ball must have been made of Skittles. That's the reason he picked it up. He scooped that thing right up and he subbed him. No, he uh, skittled it. <laughs> Oprum here and now in the game to give a spell to Marshawn. He's on a delayed route out of the backfield. The blue check and release and a fumble. Ruski, what the hell just happened? Unbelievable from Misery. He's shaking his head. <laughs> I. And you know, most wanted shaking his head. Yeah, he wants to pick one of these fumbles up. That's the second one. That was startling 10 10 third quarter let's see does he scramble in with randall who's fumbled once down to the two oh, you thought for a moment he had it you thought he was going to plant six because there's no dirt like pay dirt let me tell you is it impossible to fumble three times in a row that's a question to think about too right <laughs> i think but statistically i can't imagine the probability of that crazy marshawn back in the game and he breaks the easy tackle Beautiful. up the middle. Beast mode. Seahawks, I bet they wish they had that TD up the middle. 17-10. Misery avoids a disaster early in the second half. Eight plays, 76 yards. And most one has been down a lot of today, but he's always found a way to battle back so far. And there was a fumbled ball on a quarter of those plays in that drive. Crazy. All right, let's see what he goes to, if he can adjust to Misery's pressure. Let's see if Misery, now that he has the lead, dials it up a notch or stays with what he's been doing. It's been surprising. You see the CB on the left side of the screen try and go. Sometimes with uh, right in front of the center on the second level of the linebacker that he's moving around before the snap. You see him moving, adjusting some guys. That can give you a tell as to what he wants to do. If he, okay. If he stacks them up near the line, sometimes he can try and, like, Occupy a lineman to let some pressure in, or if he's just rushing a couple, he'll avoid it and uh, look to cover the middle. But keep fits. looking for your hot routes. Six for 15, but he's found a way to get a couple scores. Is there a way for the offensive line to be adjusted late into the snap count? Can you adjust? Yeah. So you have slide protection. Uh, so you press LB, and then if you think it's coming left, you can slide left or slide right or slide uh, up the middle. You can have him do protection for a one-step drop, and then it all changes based on the halfback, where his position is, what he's on, uh, and what Most Wanted was saying is he can pick up any pressure in the game. And the reason that, like they keep coming out in this gun bunch set is because you have a tight end on the right, and a tight end makes it a six-man line, and that helps pick up the edge pressure because it widens everything. I see. And then you got the halfback on the other side, so there he, there he didn't block the halfback, threw it hot, got a little lucky, but... So you've got the tight end available to block if you think it's coming left. You've got the halfback if you think it's coming right. The best players on defense can send it from the left or the right or both ways. So they send six guys, they get two free, and then the halfback only picks up one. So all, it, all that happens is it becomes a mind game between 
Okay, you blocked your halfback and your tight end. Now you only have three routes going out, and I didn't blitz anybody. So I got eight in coverage against three routes. I win. Right, and that's max protection. If you send five out and I'm blitzing an extra guy and I'm overloading one side, then I win. But then if you block the halfback and pick it up, you're good. So these guys go into practice mode, uh, which is, you know, just simple where they can get two controllers and they can set up blitzes, test it. Then they test it against this formation. Then they test it with a halfback. And then, so they really do the lab work to be ready to get into game to know how to pick up pressures. Because a lot of this stuff is won before the ball is even snapped. Because you're either set up in a, in a play for success or you're not. You know, if you're not picking up pressure, you're going home in a second. <laughs> Just amazing stuff. Steely McBeam. Fourth quarter. He's holding up his force, kid. Let's go. I've never seen dancing that ugly. <laughs> First and 10, Coleman. He's got 18 yards, this red zone. Been tough for most wanted today, but he's found a way to get it done so far. Taking down Boogs in his second matchup. Had a tough one in his first one, too. Rodgers looking across the middle. He's going to have B for A. Down at the one yard line, got propelled. So you have three catch types. You have a rack catch, which is run after catch. Right. You catch it, turn up field and go. You've got a conservative catch, which helps you on the sideline, helps you on third and 10. Like make, you fall to the ground, but you make sure you catch it. And then you, you have it. a high point throw, or a high point uh, aggressive catch, where you go up, you expose yourself. If you get hit, you're not gonna catch it, but it gives you the best chance to make like a spectacular play. If you're one-on-one -on -one downfield, got say it. you have, uh, you know, a guy like Randy Moss, or Herman Moore going downfield against a lower rated corner, you feel like, hey man, it's one on one, I'm gonna give my guy a shot. And that's where you wanna go to the aggressive That's what catch. they call a 50 50 ball. Absolutely. And if some players don't like to spend on their corners, most players do spend on their corners, but if, if you find a guy who's maybe trying to throw a, a bronze level lower rated player out there, the cheap. gotta give your guy a shot, you know? Absolutely. So it's 17-17, most wanted sneaks one in. Misery takes over four minutes, 27 seconds away. One of these players is going to LA to fight on April 15th. Big prize pool there, but most importantly, those series points and a chance at a berth in the Madden Championship all of May. $500,000 on the line in this salary cap mode that you're watching right now. It's our fourth major. Our third major's going on right now. The Madden Challenge will take place at the end of the month, and Marshawn Lynch just trucked at the right time. Beast mode on his defenders. Tries to get all the way down the field, but can't handle it. Well, misery looked like he was settling in on a little bit of check down, a little bit of running. Get yourself that chipping away, chipping away, and then when you get somebody with nose trouble, find him and go, go big. Marshawn, this is the Bills version of Marshawn, so it's not his ultimate... Uh, 98 overall, highly rated guy. It's a little bit of a lighter Marshawn Lynch light, but it's been enough today, you know? <laughs> enough is enough. Ooh, good. Oh, my. That would be bad. You'd probably get chewed out in the film room. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. You got to get run through. You can't allow run through. That was definitely run through. Second and 12. Misery back in the gun bunch. Got his tight end to the right. He's making a couple adjustments. Let's see if he looks to target the seam. That's sometimes where these players like to go with a quick pop pass. Corner. Go. Moves it a bit. Throw to the open. That's all you ever do. Get yourself an ability to get a little check down throw, a little bit of out pattern, what have you. But just keep getting that ball and keep it in play. Keep it in play, keep the clock moving. He gets to like the edge of field goal range, so it's going to be a very close opportunity on a kick. He's got the block and release route to the halfback. Let's see if he picks up some pressure or maybe targets Julio deep down the middle. Only if he can get the time, though. Almost bad things. Almost, you never throw late in the flat. That's 101. Almost bad. Well, it's interesting now to see the dynamics with the condensed quarter. Now you've got to play time and so forth and give yourself ability to not notch a three or... So I like what he did here. He came out to make sure he could kick it, uh, and he checked with that green arrow on the field, lets you know how far the kick is going to go if you make it. Uh, 
but with two minutes left in the quarter, he doesn't have to hike it. So he came out, saw that he could make it, and then takes it to the quarter, then he gets to pick again. If he couldn't kick it, he wouldn't have to waste a timeout or take a delay of game. He would have just waited for it to go to the two-minute warning. Very smart work. So great job for Misery, who punches it through, makes the field goal, goes up 20 to 17. Well, there's a reason that they're this far, this high in the, in the club series. You don't get that without understanding the elements of the game. But yeah, I mean, you've we've seen some players make some ill-advised clock mistakes you know and it's it's all because of the pressure of the game you know they they turn Absolutely. it over and then then they get in their own head and they stop thinking about managing the game but this has been a clean possession match back and forth they both managed the clock well he scored right before the half and that could be the difference in this one uh, as misery's up 20 to 17 but most want has got the ball with a chance this is it what you always want the ball in your hands with a chance to take the lead and throw it deep and he's going to try that possession catch did he get both feet in he did larry fitzgerald he held down a possessed it on the sideline moved the chains man that was something watching him just dragging that defense towards him waiting for that break to the sidelines had the short route but wanted more and he got more and now he's a minute 48 and 31 seconds away or a 31 yard line away from seven a field goal ties it touchdown could win it at this stage of the game pressure left halfback just picked it up and Kelsey scores he wow. decides to take it in and most wanted looks up and misery looks sad misery looked miserable he got caught in a blitz sent in the people and it was a nice job by uh by most wanted being able to deliver the ball get a touchdown 14 seconds off the clock that's maybe the only downfall but Rico asked most wanted before he said hey would you rather be up four on defense with about a minute and a half to go or would you rather be down four but you have the ball with a minute 30 to go most wanted said he'd rather be on defense that's where he is now and in his last game he needed the drive against boogs and he got it so he he's already done it on offense now he's got to prove he can do it on defense i don't know if that coverage style he's been playing is going to get it done i want to see him turn it up on defense Gonna just rush three. Guy does scoot through, and Julio Jones aggressive catch, oh. but he drops the rock. Boy, that's when you thought Julio definitely had an opportunity to make because he is that sort of a spectacular receiver. He went up for it, one hand, but a big hit. He's had good balance, 22 passes, just 18 rushes. Not done a ton with Marshawn, but there's been a couple plays that have helped open it up. Cunningham gonna have B, Fitzgerald, and it's picked off. That's Dominique Rogers Cromartie from the Giants, six foot two, steps in and gets the turnover. I guess most wanted wanted to be on defense because he understands that he mostly wants the ball. Wants the ball, gets it back in almost a strip, but Coleman hangs on to it. Misery has three timeouts. He's got to hold most wanted here as a first down would pretty much end this one here at the PNC Champions Club. We're live at Heinz Field for Misery in Most Wanted, who takes over on offense after a pick from Roger Scamardi. He's up by four, and he's trying to run the clock out. That's that fight falls forward for extra yards. Absolutely. That was almost a first down fall forward, which ended it. That's those traits. That's this tinkering. That's the lineup changes. That's all the tweaks, all the hours in the lab, trying out different players, get making sure that your guy can get the job done. In the big moments, Green. Oh man, the pressure got home. Ran over the single back sitting in the backfield. What a great job. He's doing it. Oh man, he came with pressure that time. Fourth and four. Most Wanted has the lead in the ball. He's on his own half of the field. He's going for it. Uh, Captain Cautious, one nothing. Picks up the pressure. He's got the touchdown. Overthrow! Larry Fitzgerald cannot haul it in. And look at Madden is easy. Sometimes Madden's hard. Most wanted. Wanted that one the most. And he didn't get it. He had what he needed. It was there. It was game over. And he came up a little, not short, but a little long. A little long for most wanted. Now misery gets second life. He knows he let one go there. 
He's trying to run the ball. He's down four. Three's not going to help him. He's got one timeout with a minute, two. That's a lot of time in a Madden game, but he's going to need more than two yards of whack if he wants to get in and score and win this thing. Let's see. Sends Rice across. No pressure coming in right now. He's got time. X in B, and he, so he tried, oh, wow. tried to play make him back across. Couldn't get the ball out in time. A good uh, user across the middle, so he had the, uh, the middle of the defense occupied. Shut down the route he wanted well, to go. Single coverage man turned into double coverage, then he broke off and, and, and actually applied pressure. That was a choice by the controller, right? Yep, yep. Okay. See him running across the middle right, right there, going to A, and he forces it away. And now we've got the play of the game. This is most wanted's chance to win this thing. He couldn't do it on his own fourth down on offense, but he's got a chance on his own fourth down on defense to secure the victory against Misery with one stop. Does he play coverage? Does he send pressure? Let's find out. 37 ticks. Oh man, he's backed Julio off. Julio Jones caught it! 12 yards. Oh line. He my. Got his feet in the only way he knew how to do it. Precision throw, possession catch, chains move, and misery is now inside the 12 yard line in Cant Truck. He's got one timeout, 25 seconds. Clock's ticking. It's going to get tight here. Yeah, and he, it's three won't do it. Three will not do it. You got to plan it. Eat seven. In the end zone. He's gone. Let's see. Cameron's on a high point. He's thrown this play once before. The Fitz, the Julio. Touchdown, Julio Jones with 11 seconds to go. Misery takes the lead over most wanted. 27-24, and Misery is smiling today. You couldn't put that in a much better place, and it was a tremendous catch. What a stretch. That's why you get yourself a big-time receiver for those moments. An aggressive catch, extends it six plays, 46 yards, and now just 11 seconds left. Most Wanted will try and get himself a field goal with a big play or two, but not a lot of time left. You're sitting there, you're misery, you're thinking to yourself, okay, I got it, it's right here, game over. But you just never know until well, it's never oh, it's not over until the fat lady sings. I think she's warming up. He's backing everybody off. He's got three deep quarters across the back. Let's see if he goes to Ed McCaffrey or he tries to hit the seam. He's got plenty of timeouts. He just needs two plays. Just a couple. All you got to do. Uh oh. Pick. Game over. Misery secures it with Baker. A bronze, and he is hyped up, slapping hands. His boys here in misery will be a going to Los Angeles as your Steelers club champion on April 15th. He'll be trying to take down, win his share of a $50,000 prize pool, plus earn a shot to get into the Madden championship in May. $500,000 on the line, top two spots. We'll be attending that all love between the two competitors. Misery, clutch, fourth down, down the sideline. That was the play of the day. He needed it, and he got it in the biggest moment. He got it.